I'm just gonna start recording. So, I'm just here to talk about three items. Actually, just one item. Someone asked, why is Battle Fury good? Or is Battle Fury good on carries? The answer to that question is that Battle Fury is always good on carries because it just helps you farm faster. Even on heroes like Ursa, Monkey King. Well, obviously not like ranged heroes because ranged heroes can't buy items like that. Only melee heroes can, which is like actually like a big bonus for melee heroes. So Battle Fury is always good. The only time Battle Fury is not good is if you cannot farm. So like, let's say for example, you're playing like a fucking Juggernaut and you have a mid alchemist. You're, you're not building Battle Fury because you're, there's, not, there's simply not enough farm on the map. What's going to happen is that the Alk is going to jungle while the enemy mid laner is going to like start killing everyone. Let's say they have a Storm or a Void Spirit. They're going to start killing everyone. If you go Battle Fury, one, you're weaker to fight. And two, if you go jungle, then who's going to actually make space, right? Nobody. So that's why you just don't make, don't make Battle Fury. But then the times that you can make Battle Fury, it's always good to make Battle Fury. Unless if either Milstrom or Radiance is just better. So there's like three farming items for carries. Right, one is Battle Fury. Actually, Necro Book could also be a farming item, but that's like strictly Lycan. That's actually not even a farming item because they make it shit for farming now. It's not shit. It's actually really good at farming, but it's just better uh for fighting. Um, as I was saying, for carries, there's like three farming items. Blade Mill is not necessarily a good farming item. This is a fucking like. It's like a decent-ish farming item. You know, people make it on Spectre to farm, but I don't think it's legit. It's kind of like, yeah, you farm, but you don't farm as fast as like a Battle Fury, right? So the three items that actually help you farm are Battle Fury, Maelstrom, or Radiance. So how do I look at these three items, right? So let's say you're a melee hero and you lack... Um, how do I say? So all these three items give you uh, damage only. Maelstrom giving the least. But Maelstrom gives you like a magic proc every 30% chance. So if you have high attack speed, then you go Maelstrom. Because, you know, Maelstrom, you know, high attack speed, you proc a lot more. If you're lacking attack speed, you can go Radiance or Battle Fury because they give you more damage. And every hit you do more damage and, you know. But... I would say for a strength hero, you rarely go Millstrom. Like, it's just not good on strength heroes because you don't have attack speed. Unless if you're like Life Stealer. You know, if you have like attack speed built in you, like Life Stealer has a passive that has that, then by sure, like go for it. But Agi heroes always, almost always has attack speed already just because they're Agi heroes and they have high Agi gang. So every agility you get, you get more attack speed. Now, to look at this even more, Milstrom is the cheaper alternative to Battle Fury and Radiance. It's almost half the price. Oh, no, no, no. It's not half the price. But it's like, it's almost half the price of the Radiance and like, uh, you know, a little bit less than the Battle Fury. Actually, quite a lot less than the Battle Fury. But the thing about Milstrom is that you can get it fast and you can go fight. So, if you're like, yo, I have an alchemist. No, no, no. The, there's another item you can get. It's called Midas. Okay, this is complete shit. Don't get Midas unless if you're like trying to grief your team. There's actually no hero that could get Midas. The only hero that can get Midas is like heroes that have cooldown reduction or heroes that are really relying on attack speed. I don't even think that's legit, man. Midas is just kind of mediocre this patch. I don't know which hero goes Midas. They say Wraith can go Midas, but if you go Midas Radiance, you're going to be useless as fuck. Faceless Void could go Midas, but then you just go Mils Mask of Madness, man. Mask of Madness is like 50 times better than uh, Midas. Volker and Ogre, they're not really carry. They're not carry heroes. They're like mid and like supports. And if you go o Midas on Ogre Magi, like, and if you're losing the lane, you're griefing your team, by the way. You're going to make like a 30 minute Midas and you're going to use it once and boom, the game's over. So yeah, I wouldn't consider this like an option here just for the sake of this video, at least in the current patch.
7.28a. The game goes way too fast for Midas, man. And they don't give you wave clear. You get one creep, that's it. All three of these items give you good wave clear. So if you didn't have wave clear before, boom, you have wave clear. You know, you know how good wave clear is? It's really fucking good. So, Maelstrom is like, yo, I want to farm, but I also have a mid elk. So I need to like get that shit and I'm going to go fight. And that's okay. You can farm while you fight. Maelstrom actually procs a lot. So the good thing about Maelstrom compared to Battlefield and Radiance is that you can also get it on ranged heroes. So on some instances, you can get it on heroes that are ranged and they will proc like Nature's Prophet. You know, like if you have a Maelstrom, now you all of a sudden you can push waves quite fast because believe it or not, Nature's without Maelstrom actually has quite a difficult time pushing lanes. Uh... Battle Fury, if you need the health and mana regen, if you don't have a HP problem or a mana problem, Battle Fury is like, yo, I'm gonna like just hit people. I don't know, it's just fucking stupid to get Battle Fury if you can go for Radiance. Because the thing about Radiance is that this item costs so much gold to get, but once you get it, dude, once you get that relic, it feels so good, and then you get the full item. It even works on, uh, like fucking, what's it called? It even works on Ancients now. So it's 60 damage. The bit, the best thing is the active, which does seven, 60 damage. And there's a 17% miss chance. If you're an illusion hero, you almost always go Radiance. Because you're going to do a shit ton of damage. And you can send an illusion down the lane. And it will just push the wave out for you. Battle Fury does not work on illusions, by the way. They don't work. It looks like they're working. They're not working. It's just a fake animation. But Radiance does work. Uh, it only does like 35 damage though. So it's like a basically almost half. But you get the point, boys. So it's pretty fucking good. Uh, that's the worst thing about Radiance. You can't get any item. It's actually 3,800 gold. Yeah. This is the worst thing about Radiance. The good thing about Millstrom is that you can buy Javelin, or you can buy this, right? Easy damage. Battle Fury is even better because you can go for like an easy fucking early uh, ring of health, which every carry wants because that's like, you know, sustain, free free tango almost. And you can buy a smaller items, and you always buy Quelling Blade, so it's like easy to build into. This is dog shit, right? No one wants to save up for this gold and if you die you lose a lot of gold too right you can't just buy but like some items before you die that's the best uh worst thing for it um there are heroes that are very situational like wraith king like elk okay so how do i say this there's some heroes that only go radiance like elk is like radiance is almost always better on elk in my opinion just because you make it so fast right and you don't really have a problem with saving up 300 and 3,800 gold because you get gold so easily and so quick. Uh, there are heroes like Anti-Mage that you always get Battle Fury because like Radiance is just pretty fucking shit on Anti-Mage. And he actually does have a HP and uh, mana problems. So if you don't have Battle Fury and you're farming like jungle camps and shit, you're actually going to lose all your mana and all of your HP. You're going to have to get like Lifesteal and Clarities all the time which does not feel good. Uh, Maelstrom, as I said. So, all three of these items, besides Wave Clear, they also deal with Illusion Heroes, right? Here's the thing about Illusion Heroes, guys. If you're against a PL, Battle Fury does not do jack shit to PL. I'm telling you this right now. The only heroes that counter PL with a Battle Fury... Okay, Sven counters PL because his cleave is literally 90%. Like, Sven can hit any illusion, and it will be the exact same thing as hitting the real illusion, right? That's why Sven counters PL. But Battle Fury does not do enough th shit to actually deal with the PL. PL will just have more illusions than you can handle. The only hero that actually counters PL with Battle Fury is either Juggernaut while he's Omni Slashing, PA, and maybe... Maybe Troll Warlord. I don't even think Troll countered his Jug. Like, PL. And in the late game, there's no hero that counters PL with Battle Fury. Because it doesn't matter if the PA has Battle Fury or not. It doesn't matter if the Jug has Battle Fury or not. They literally have to hit the real one. 
and they have to have ev like either more farm or get lucky and get the initiation first. So the PA needs to have like a rape here and just one shot the PL. That's like the only way. Uh, basically what I'm saying is that in the late game, no I uh no no item you can make actually counters the PLs, but besides the heroes that you pick. Um, what does counter PL is a really early radiance. This basically allows all his illusions to miss attacks, right? So his illusions has to actually has to attack you to make more illusions. So illusions cannot buy MKB. Illusions cannot buy rape here. It doesn't work on them. So if they're missing attacks, they're missing attacks forever. That's why butterfly is so good against Lycan. Because and Halberd too. Because if some if a carry gets butterfly, that means all my summons cannot hit him, right? If they get radiance, same thing. Uh, summons cannot have BKB on them, so they're, they're just gonna miss, right? Illusions, same shit. They're gonna miss. And uh, it also burns like before PL gets like a heart and Scotty, the 60 magic damage burns so much that it's just gonna kill all the illusions by just virtue of standing near them, which is hella good. Maelstrom does not counter PL, but Mjolnir does. And the reason why Mjolnir does is that one, when you attack, it launches a 170 damage like proc. Also, there's something called static charge where if you place it on yourself and you're fighting the PL, and then the PL has a the PL is hitting you, or like the Naga Siren is hitting you, each time each illusion hits you, there's a 20% chance that it, it's like a 15 second duration, right? They, they will launch a 200 magical damage, damage shock. So basically like a Zeus fucking arc lightning. Every every time an illusion hits you, like 20% chance. So let's say there's like 10 PL illusions hitting you. You're basically guaranteed to proc like twice every second. So like do the math, bro. Like if he's hitting you for like 5 seconds, he's basically killing himself like instantaneously. So that's why Milnir counters him. But he has to hit you, right? If a good PL player, he would not hit the target who is already static charged. Because if he does that, you will literally kill yourself. Also, random talk big since we're talking about PL. And Meepo, by the way. Shiva's guard counters Meepo. And PL. Because it reduces lifesteal and heal by 25%. That is a lot, dude. Meepo, like, uh, he heals a lot. Also, it reduces attack speed. So another thing, PL, like, illusions don't get, like, attack speed the same way that heroes do, right? So they're going to have less. So when you're slowing their attack speed, they're actually attacking a lot slower. Like, Lycan summons attack a lot slower. And also, if the illusions are attacking slower, that means, like, they're going to spawn less, right? There's a lot of things. Uh, yeah. But back on to the topic of Maelstrom, Battlefield, and Radiance. So basically, that's just how it is, right? That's how I feel. Personally, the last time I made Maelstrom was like never. I actually never made Mjolnir. Like, I make Radiance almost every game because I play Alchemist a lot. Battle Fury, I also make a lot. Like, you know, on PAs and stuff like that. But Maelstrom? I never make Maelstrom, man. If I could go Milstrom, I just go Radiance. I don't make Milstrom. I I rather just go MKB for raw damage. Milstrom is so poo poo. I like maybe Life Stealer, like Jug. I just go Battle Fury. I don't know. I personally never really go Milnir or Milstrom, but I know people who do go Milstrom and Milnir, and boy, they will make that shit every single game. They will never not play a game where they don't use Milstrom or Milnir, which is stupid. But yeah. Satanic is a dead item now because no status res. Um, Daedalus is shit. Uh, Blinking Elk is actually strong. Yeah, dude. Elk? The thing about Elk, you can make any item you want. Doesn't even matter. You can even go Dagon. Fuck it, just go Dagon. You will, like, you because you farm too fast. Imagine going Necrobuck on Alchemist, though. Is that actually legit? Because, no, no, no. Because, like, Okay, this is a bit off topic, right? But let's say you make Necro Book on Alchemist. Did you know Mage Elk build? You mean Magic Damage Alchemist build? Yeah, you go Radiance, Dagon, Ethereal Blade, Shiva's Guard, Octarine Core. You know, shit like that. This, I never tried it. No, I think I tried it once. 
But that game, we were snowballing so hard. Even if I didn't, if I went for any build, I would have won anyway. And the Blink Dagger. But I'm starting to think if Necro Book is viable on Alchemist. Because one, it helps him farm. Two, it's like a slow, right? It helps him push. And also, you don't have to go Soul Ring anymore. You can just use it for mana regen. And also, if you just rush Necro Book and then go Radiant Second Item. Should I try that tomorrow? Just brush a Necro Book? Like how I play Lycan? Rush Necro Book, and then you rush AC. No, rush Necro Book, rush Radiance, and then go the normal build. But instead of Soul Ring, you go Necro Book. And you don't even buy treads. You just go Necro Book, Brown Boots, Necro Book, into Radiance, into like Boots of Travel or some shit. That's probably legit. But yeah. Four mana regen is not much for elk. Uh true, kind of, yeah, because as a lichen you only need it for wolves, right? But then for elk you need a lot for using your Q. Cap, okay, but I'm gonna get like five reports after trying it. But yeah. Uh maybe I found out a new build. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed watching. You know, check out the Twitch, check out the Discord, check out the everything, anything, boys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.